let's see how to animate these urban plants in after effects i recently came across a video by show it better where steven rubio explains how to create urban night plants it was a project done by an architecture firm called fabrications i have given the link below watch it whenever you are free let's jump straight into the video there were four maps done by fabrication studio today we will see how to animate them let's start with the energy and food map there are two ways to do this either you can illustrate the base map in illustrator and animate it using after effects or you can get a base map that suits your need from snazzy maps and animate using that i will be following the second method when you go to snazzy maps you get a lot of options to filter and you get a wide variety of options to select from you can even filter by tag and popularity this is the base map that i created using snazzy maps you might need to do some stitching of maps to cover a larger area now i took it into photoshop and did some detailing work like adding legends the locations on the maps that is the elements which will be static and need not be animated i also added inner shadow at the edges once you are happy with the base map we can take it into after effects open a new file then drag and drop the base map into the projects panel on the left drag the map over create composition icon to create a new composition if you see the animation that i did there are three types or elements of animation one the line indicating the movement of goods two the animated contour line indicating the agriculture land and third one which is the animation of demarcating the areas of protected environment let's start with the first one select the pen tool and left click to start drawing drawing a line is more or less similar to photoshop or illustrator we have to click and drag to make it a curve control z to undo and click to make a straight line we can adjust the stroke size by entering here and you can also have the option to enable different types of fill we can change the color by clicking on the color on the top we also get different options for stroke like solid and gradient stroke to make it as a dashed or dotted line click on this arrow to the left of the layer then click on contents shapes stroke and hit on dashes click on the plus icon you can play with the value for dash and select the one that you like click on this arrow then click on the arrow near add option select trim paths bring the cursor to the starting of the video open the trim paths control by clicking on the arrow click on the stopwatch or timer icon to create keyframe for both start and end values If you have any doubts on keyframe I have explained them clearly in this video take a look at it for better understanding make the end value as 0 and bring the cursor to the third second of the video and make the end value as 100 bring the cursor to the starting of the video and hit space bar to preview as you can see we have animated the line You can decrease the speed by increasing its duration and vice versa. You can do the same with a spline or a curved line. Now apply glow effect from the effects and presets panel. Drag and drop the effect on the layer. You can toggle on and off by clicking on this icon. If we want, we can increase the intensity value and glow radius. That's it. We might need to repeat this same process multiple times to create a detailed animation like this. Let's move to animating the shapes. Using the pen tool, start tracing the shape that you want to denote. Once you are done drawing a shape, rename it into outline. Hit control D on your keyboard to duplicate the layer and rename the duplicate layer to fill and bring it below the outline layer. Hide the fill layer for now. Let's select a color for the outline. Bring the cursor to the time where you want the animation to start. Now add trim path and repeat what we did for animating the lines. Hit space bar to preview. We want the fill to appear once the shape is almost formed. Turn on the fill layer and click on no stroke and click on solid fill for this layer. Select a color of your choice. 
hit T on your keyboard to bring opacity control. Let's bring down the opacity to around 50%. Click on the stopwatch icon to create a keyframe. And move the cursor a few frames back and bring the opacity value to 0. If you preview now, you can see how the fill starts to appear. You can see how the fill starts to appear. You can also apply glow effect to the outline layer. We have to trace different shapes according to our data, but the steps to animate them are the same. We have come to the third part, which is the animated contour line. I have attached the assets along with this video. Feel free to download them and use it. Drag and drop these assets into the projects panel. Bring it into the composition. We might need to scale it down and even need to tile it. Duplicate it and right click and transform them. Click on flip horizontal or flip vertical according to your need. Try to create a seamless texture covering the area that we want to denote. Once you are done duplicating and tiling, select all the layers using shift key. Then right click and select pre-compose to create a composition inside the existing composition. You can double click to open the new composition and do any changes which will automatically reflect in the virginal composition. Reduce the opacity by hitting T on keyboard. Select the layer and draw a mask according to the shape of your requirement using the pen tool. You can even make the mask to be in add or subtract mode. Bring the opacity back to 100. Keep the overlay mode in lighten. You might want to play with the overlay mode to find which one suits you better. We can also change its color. Go to effects and presets panel, search for tint, apply this effect. As we have white lines, we want the white color to be assigned to any other color of our choice. So click on the white and choose the color you need. Hit spacebar to preview your very own animated urban plan. This will be a very good and a different way to present your study or design to your faculty or online. Speaking of which, if you end up posting it on Instagram, make sure to tag us. I would love to see what you guys do with your creative thoughts.